All right, this is a 16-inch Galaxy. Um, it is a gray model, which would have been most likely from the late 80s and early 90s. I know that at least by 1993, they switched the design over to the um, model with the gray transparent blade. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Like uh, this here. <sighs> and I know that because I have the 1993 Sears book and it has such that fan in it. And that one had a plain old ordinary base just like this. With no buttons or base plate on it. And it ha had the dial on the back. Excuse me. Um, uh, but this fan's in really good shape. Overall. It's dusty and, you know, such. But it's in good shape. There's no cracks or anything. The base plate needs to be glued down again. But that's no big deal. I've done that before. It works pretty well. There's a little vibration when it starts up and stops, but that happens. One thing that surprised me on this unit is the blades. I mean, you'd think that they are uh, flexible. They look flexible, but they're not. They're really stiff. Um, just like on a blue or brown one. <clears throat> but, uh, anyway, why don't we show it running? Show it without oscillation first, just because I squeeze on through. So yeah, you can see it's kind of vibrating. Well, maybe you can't see it. I can see it though. They're very powerful just as any other 16 inch galaxy would be. It's got a pretty good spin down time, I'll let you look at that. There you can see the shaking. Uh, definitely. I don't know why it's doing that. But it doesn't seem to affect the operation of the fan eh, as a whole. So I'm not really concerned. Uh, so yeah, you can see the blades. It has a respectable spin down time, just as my blue one does. Pop the knob down. And there you go, it isolates. You can hear I'm blowing around some of my papers and stuff. I'm not a very organized person, so I got a lot of stuff on the floor. I was blowing all that about. Um, but you know, I mean, it's a very impressive fan, no doubt, as uh, any 16-inch Galaxy would be. And um, and I find another brown one, the one that I have filmed on my channel already, um, is now in the possession of um, 
Hojas D um, in Hawaii. I remember at the DT Vintage Fan Forums. Um, but if I found another one, then it'd be kind of killing two birds with one stone because I would then have all three sizes, uh, colors in the 16 inch size. And I'd have all three brown ones because I do have a 12 inch brown one and a 9 inch brown one. Oh, Petey Hush. Petey, he's my dog. He's on my bed. He's looking really cute. I'm going to show you him. Uh, that's it for the fan, but. There's Petey! Hi, Petey. Yeah. He's my sweet dog. I rescued him from the uh, vet clinic I work at. Somebody abandoned him there. Just left him in the backyard before we opened. And he lived there for about two months before I brought him home. I love him though. And that's why he gets to sleep on my bed. My other two dogs don't. Um, but anyway, you know, and there's the 16 inch gray galaxy fan. And my little dog, Petey.